Good evening and welcome to the Brian Crombie Radio Hour on Saga 96. I want to give you a sense of uh, what I've got going on this week uh, because I've got a really interesting uh, week for you on my show every night at 6 o'clock on 960 AM. Uh, on uh, Monday, I had Karen Chappelle. She is head of the, the School of Cities at uh, the University of Toronto. Uh, she's got a, a professorship in uh, Berkeley in California as well. Uh, and she's an expert on cities how they develop, uh, governance, et cetera. And we're talking about downtowns. And we're talking about how with uh, dramatic vacancies in uh, downtown uh, commercial space, both with offices, but also with some uh, of the, the restaurants and dry cleaners and other, uh, you know, other businesses that, uh, that, uh, that serve uh, the downtown office locations. Uh, with those vacancies um, being you know, above 20, 25%, uh, she talks about how this uh, vacancy uh, and the number of people missing would, would fill numerous different Rogers centers. How's that going to change our downtowns? And uh, what companies need to do, what employees need to do, what mayors and city planners and premiers need to do. It's a fascinating conversation from an academic on, uh, on, that studied cities and uh, what's happened with uh, downtown cities um, and how it's going to impact our lives, how it's going to impact our businesses. So it's a really interesting uh, show. On Tuesday, I've got Holly Doan, who is the publisher of an online publishing um, uh, entity called Black's, Black Locks Publisher. And what they do is they publish uh, uh, every day five stories about different things that are published uh, by government, a uh, federal government in Ottawa, that the regular media doesn't uh, doesn't uh, um, give any attention to. Uh, these are um, briefing notes, uh, uh, regulations, uh, polls, uh, judicial findings, etc. All the documents that uh, are by by public uh, um, uh, access to public information have to be filed but that you have to go looking for and hunting for. And uh, she talks about how a lot of them get published in the summertime and on Friday afternoons. And there's a wealth of incredible information in those, uh, in those publications. And she talks about several of them on the show and more importantly about how uh, governments try to maybe not give you all the information by publishing uh, those things in the summertime and on Friday afternoons, but then also how uh, black locks can help you find out some of the things that are being published on Wednesday. I've got two really interesting uh, individuals to talk to you. One is uh, Anthony Florendo, who um, is uh, confined to a wheelchair, got into a motor vehicle accident, um, a, a car crashed him as he was uh, on a pedestrian crosswalk and he's launched a, uh, a charity uh, for people that have uh, been involved in motor vehicle accidents, uh, people that have got PTSD, people that have got uh, needs of uh, waiting through the insurance quagmire, uh, et cetera. And uh, it's a, it's a poignant story about him and about what happened to him and how he's trying to help other people. And then I got a really interesting company, uh, Thomas Dulemaga, who uh, is the CEO and co-founder of uh, Republic's uh, platform. Um, it's a uh, marketplace uh, a, a conglomeration, an agglomeration of numerous different online media companies, marketing companies. Uh, he's put together both by cooperation as well as by um, acquisition, uh, a really interesting digital marketplace and uh, and and digital marketer. Uh, and and I recommend it uh, to you. On Thursday, staying with the digital, I've got Shiris Nedkarni, who's a brilliant um, serial entrepreneur, tech entrepreneur from uh, Silicon Valley, the West Coast of uh, of uh, the United States um, on his second book, which is about online marketplaces like uh, Google, like Amazon, uh, like Airbnb, uh, et cetera. And he talks about how they used to be listing marketplaces and now they become managed marketplaces. The difference being, you know, Amazon where you just get listings versus Uber where you're effectively told who you're going to hire. Um, and it's uh, it's a really interesting discussion. And he talks about how it's going to evolve even further into uh, AI uh, benefited marketplaces like Audible or uh, booksellers that recommend uh, what you might be interested in. So gone from just a list of opportunities to uh, connecting you with that opportunities to recommending other opportunities to you, and then how they create monopolies and uh, and have the network effects, and the monopolies are potentially problematic. And then on Friday, I've got a really interesting uh, conversation with Martin Buckland, who is a career management expert, and uh, he talks about how you've got a manage your career, how you've got to update your resume, how you've got to uh, constantly uh, be on LinkedIn and and effectively networking via LinkedIn, um, that your resume has got to be accessible by uh, the, the automated uh, computer um, digital um, 
programs that are going through your LinkedIn profile and through your resume, et cetera. Um, and, uh, and we talk a little bit about some of the things that one needs to do if one wants to manage their career and how the vast majority of people in his experience don't really think about managing the career and it's something you, you need to do. So a lot of focus this week on, uh, on digital uh, black locks that is getting their information from this, the, the obligation that, uh, that the public, uh, that the, the federal government has to, to post a whole bunch of stuff, but they post it in a way that is difficult to access. And black locks does the work of getting it. Uh, Thomas uh, Lumaguerre, who talks about marketing online. Shiris Nadkarni, who talks about an online marketplace and how it is evolved from listing to managed to AI uh, enabled. And Martin Buckland, who talks about managing your career, um, which has got offline as well as online uh, aspects. And uh, as I mentioned, Karen Chappelle, who uh, who talks about uh, what's happened with uh, Zoom and uh, and online and remote work, et cetera, uh, our downtowns have emptied and what's going to happen uh, with that. So this week is primarily on on online um, with Karen talking about downtowns. Uh, and last week I focused on housing. I had Stephen Velasco talking about uh, uh, the Toronto skyline, all the developments that are happening uh, in the future. Kim Wright talking about Olivia Chow and what her mandate is going to be. Francis uh, Salé talking about remote work and how that's changing downtowns, how it's changing uh, employers, how it's changing employees. Uh, et cetera, Ron Butler talking about the the housing affordability crisis, uh, mortgage, interest rates, and uh, and what we can do. And uh, Colleen McKay, uh, a coaching trans, uh, a a a, multi, a neuro linguistic programming expert, talking about transcending minds. So it's been an interesting two weeks. You can check me out every night at six o'clock on nine sixty AM. You can stream me online if uh, you don't have the radio connection at saga nine sixty uh, AM dot CA. And if you miss my six o'clock time period, you can always get my uh, podcasts on all the different places that podcasts are, SoundCloud, Speakeasy, Audible, Apple, et cetera. And uh, my videos I post on Facebook, on Instagram, on LinkedIn, and on YouTube. I've got a YouTube channel and I'd really appreciate it if you'd sign up for that YouTube channel. I have a lot of fun interviewing these people. I get to learn a lot. I get to spout my own points of view and uh, I hope you get a chance to check me out. Thanks. Good night.